Whoop whoop everybody, it's Young Crowbar. I'm coming back at you with another top five video. Today we'll be discussing the top five scenes in cinematic history that features crowbars. It's on par with my brand, so how could I not? Number five, there's a movie called Jack Reacher. I've never seen it, but it features a sick crowbar scene. So the scene starts off with this dude just crashing through a window of some sorts, and the guy pushing him through the window is, is wielding a crowbar. The dude got a gun, right? A gun is no match to a crowbar, and this scene is proof of that. Because the dude wielding the crowbar smacks the gun out of his hand. Now, why are they fighting? What could they be fighting for? Crowbar hit to the side, it looked like. Boom, crowbar hit to the other side. Thankfully, he was blocking or else he probably would have died from that one hit alone. Hit to the head. Ooh, another hit to the head. Dude falls in the pool, but the scene's not even over yet. Now, I couldn't find footage of what happens in between, but at some point, the dude jumps in the water for him. Bro is choking the man with a crowbar i don't know what happens that's all i got but let's just assume he dies number four i'm gonna have to give number four to the movie hangover it features a pretty hilarious scene piss break this naked ass motherfucker jumped out of the goddamn trunk balls first into this dude's face and he just welling on him with the crowbar straight to the back and i'm talking like at least 17 times relentlessly wham 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 motherfucker was able to throw him off surprisingly even though realistically his back should be cracked in like 17 different locations and he's still not done motherfucker just crowbars the dude in the gut back of the neck and then boom crowbar on the back turns around this motherfucker just standing there chilling thinking it's over you know just having sweet thoughts like i can't wait to see my chiropractor next week because he's got some damage to damage boom glasses fly off those glasses flew bro this dude's glasses had a pair of wings he should take that shit to shark tank because that product could possibly sell and this scene right here is just hilarious like he's just wielding this crowbar like the crowbar master he is the motherfucker just chunks the crowbar at his face and just runs. I'm talking he hauls ass. But hey, now these three fuckboys got this legendary weapon of mass destruction with them. Number three. Number three is a tough one. Like, I had to really think about this. I'm gonna have to go with the movie Meet the Spartans. This scene's gonna have to feature some editing chops from your boy. At some parts in the scene, they take their focus off the crowbar for whatever dumb reason. Like, no wonder this movie flopped. This is number three for a good bit of reasons. Like, not only is it pretty long, but it's also a GTA San Andreas homage. Homage? I don't know. You don't come to me for words. You come to me for crowbar facts. You got this focus on the crowbar. That's like 10 points right there. And I'm about to give him more credit, because, like, can you even use a crowbar in GTA San Andreas? Is this GTA San Andreas? I'm assuming it is because I think that was the game out at the time of this movie. The way he's running, hilarious. He walks up to a guy carrying two SMGs. Now this shows you the type of like mojo you get when wielding a crowbar. You feel invincible. Nothing can stop you. And I want you to remember that. Nothing can stop you and nothing will stop you. So he walks up and he just clocks his dude in the forehead. And of course that kills him, but he's not even done yet. I want to say bro is hammering him to death with this crowbar, but that wouldn't make sense. So I'm going to say bro is crowbarring him to death with this crowbar. And then for some reason he drops the crowbar and picks up his SMGs, blah, blah, blah. This scene would have been higher on my list if it wasn't for the fact that he ditches the crowbar for shitty ass SMGs. Like if you just took out this guy with SMGs with his crowbar, then what are you going to do when someone walks up to you with a crowbar? You just prove to yourself and the audience that the crowbar outmatches the SMGs. <laughs> it's going to have to go to Home Alone. For this, this is some of they say crowbars alone when they clink up the crowbars together like they took my shit. <laughs> my slogan back in high school was always crowbars up. I was just revisiting Home Alone one day, of course. They say crowbars up after clinking their crowbars together. Like, what the frick? Like, what are the odds? Like, I thought I was a genius with a fat penis when I came up with that slogan. But of course, Marv and Joe were a few bars of head of me. This is a given. Now, I've never seen this show, but I'm also pretty dumb. So I probably wouldn't even understand most of the humor. But it's got to go to Rick and Morty. 
the reason that this scene is a given to be number one for this simple fact alone. Out with the bang and the fish and me. Suck a dick with some things. If you like what you see, you can be my next sub and jingle my bell. Stupid ass bitch, let her buy what I sell. We the crowbar gang and it's crowbar sub. It is sport night all night. Time is almost up, so click on the video. What are you doing, you stupid? 